hope you guys are doing well and today I'm going to show you that how you can set up your uh, sync browser functionality in your uh, grunt file so uh, I'm gonna create a, a grunt file here and uh, uh, write some code uh, once we create our grunt file you need to install the uh, CLI version of grunt so now I'm gonna install this npm uh, install and uh, globally uh, grunt slash CLI now we have uh, uh, installing our uh, npm install uh, grunt CLI globally uh, now uh, we can localize uh, all those uh, uh, file with the uh, uh, single uh, grunt so now uh, we need to install uh, grunt save dev now I'm gonna uh, add some uh, modules here and uh, export and then function here with the grunt and uh, here we can configure our grunt grunt in it and then config and uh, now I can add curly braces this uh, you can add all those plugins and uh, load here and also registered here for example I'm gonna uh, add a browser sync so we need to create a folder here with the dev and uh, now I'm gonna add here some browser sync code we need to also call the browser sync code here grunt load npm tasks and then add a plugin name here which is uh, grunt browser sync so we need to also uh, add a uh, uh, register this load npm task in our default grunt so we need to add register task and then default and then plugin name here which is browser sync so now I'm gonna um, write uh, some code here uh, and uh, install the plugin here npm install grunt browser sync save dev now I'm gonna initialize some uh, information which is uh, uh, we can sync in our browser sync functionality so I'm gonna write the dev and uh, add bs files and then src with this basis and uh, dev you can also target uh, css static means you can target all those css files which is uh, 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 generated in the dev folder dev folder so now I'm gonna add extension.css and uh, 
then we need to add some uh, dev js files static dot js and you can also sync the html files static and then html file so uh, here we can uh, target the css file and then js files and then html file once we can uh, generate the these files from uh, the src uh, the dev uh, version uh, is also uh, read those uh, changes and then uh, hit the browser sync oh, sorry s y n c should be s y n c yeah so hit the browser sync functionality and reload your browser so now we can also add some option here so options options should be watch task with, uh, true and then liver load should be true and then server should be dev I'm gonna indent my code and uh, now I'm gonna run this command using our grunt task so uh, once uh, I'm, I'm gonna check that Another thing is also added, and then now I'm gonna add npm. Sorry, yeah, grunt. Oh, maybe there is an error with the grunt npm task. Actually, actually, I made the mistake here. Uh, we need to add the tasks here. So now, once we add the task here it will work hopefully yeah this will works in the uh, local host uh, semicolon 3000 so yeah uh, you can uh, once uh, I add the uh, sync browser functionality and you can access uh, your complete website in your uh, I with your IP address and also you can uh, use this link for localhost so uh, this is how the browser sync uh, plugin works uh, hope you guys understand and uh, in our next lectures um, we can also uh, add the watch, watch functionality and uh, see you guys the real time um, use of the browser sync so this is uh, uh, this lecture is only for uh, installing the browser sync plugin into your project folder so uh, in our next video I'm gonna add some um, watch functionality and uh, then SAS or maybe HTML build and also I'm, I'm gonna creating a series uh, you can also uh, I'm going also add the thumbnails uh, in my uh, video you can also redirect uh, to those videos using this link so I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoy my tutorial and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel and click the bell icon uh, to uh, get my notification um, from my youtube channel so uh, you may also visit my uh, social media uh, uh, i'm gonna add uh, uh, all those links in the description box uh, and you can also visit my website so uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe uh, see you guys in my next video